we're going to get started here. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank everyone for coming out today. Um, there was a lot uh, going on, a lot of different activities, um, and I think uh, we're very happy with the attendance. I, I hope everyone had a really good time, and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, rubbing shoulders with uh, other members of the uh, Western New York filmmaking community. Um, that's one of the reasons we started doing this way back in 1998, uh, which was when we had the first, uh, what was then called the Video Festival. Uh, it was a very small affair. Um, and just to give you an idea, um, at that time, uh, Buffalo Movie Video Makers, uh, who you may be familiar with, uh, they will always, <laughs> yeah, please give them a round of, 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 of applause. Because They've been, uh, I would say, along with LCTV and Lockport, uh, one of our uh, strongest and longest supporters uh, for this event. And uh, I was just telling Terry that uh, John Weixner, who I don't know if he at that time was the president, but he, <laughs> uh, he was a member of the Buffalo Movie Video, Video Makers, which uh, also I believe has the distinction of the longest uh, running Filmmaker club in the country, I think, possibly. Uh, how many years? Uh, 1934. 1934. That organization. Okay, and it's in Buffalo, and it's still going strong. Um, but anyway, John also was one of the winners of, of that very first uh, video festival. So uh, you know, we we appreciate the uh, the longstanding support of. Uh, Buffalo Movie Video Makers, LCTV, and uh, the rest of the Western New York community uh, that is involved in, in filmmaking and animation uh, and all the related fields, uh, special effects, makeup, uh, actors, uh, you know, the list will, will go on and on. So hopefully uh, everyone had a good time here today and found uh, the event worthwhile and productive in some way. Um, so what we're going to do is present the awards. We have uh, seven categories, uh, animation, comedy, documentary, drama, uh, experimental, and horror and music video. And this year we received 130 entries uh, from around the world. Uh, we went international a few years ago and uh, this year we received entries from 27 different countries. Um, so we have that going on, that international aspect of, of the festival. But we also, you know, our, one of our main focuses has always been the Western New York filmmaking community. So we also uh, give awards to uh, local filmmakers as well. Um, we usually give a, we call them the 716 awards, and we give one to uh, what is judged to be the best college student uh, local film, the best high school student local film. Um, and then also we have this thing which we started a few years back called the People's Choice Award, uh, which is uh, the winner is determined by a popular vote. And th this was the first year where we actually uh, went online to allow people to vote uh, a week ahead of time. And the response was, was very good. Um, the six finalist films uh, got a lot of votes. Um, and it was a tough decision, but there was one that, that came out on top, and I'll announce that uh, just a little bit later. Um, before we get started with the actual uh, award ceremony, I would just like to take a moment uh, to reflect on uh, a member of the Western New York filmmaking community who passed away a couple years ago. Um, he, he was a friend to many of us in this room. Uh, I'm sure many of you worked with him in some capacity or another if you're involved in, in filmmaking. Um, but he also was an NCCC student. Uh, and that's actually where, where I first met him. Uh, and that's Michael David O'Hare. Uh, he passed away, yeah. <laughs> uh, and Thursday night uh, at the Amherst Theater, we uh, attended a screening of Model Hunger, which is uh, Debbie Roshan's movie. And, uh, I was pleasantly surprised to see Michael. Uh, he had uh, quite a major role in, in that film. So it was nice to see him again. Uh, 
Okay, uh, next I would like to just take a few minutes to thank everyone uh, that has been involved in put, getting this event uh, going and off the ground and uh, successful today. Um, so this list is a little long, but I think it uh, merits mentioning uh, everyone here. I hope I don't uh, leave anyone out. Uh, first of all, I want to thank um, our maintenance guy, uh, Steve Kidd. I don't know if he's still here. He, is he cleaning up? <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, uh, you know, he did a, just a, a tremendous job. He, he was here early this morning uh, helping us set up tables and everything. So thank you, Steve. Uh, Rich Johnson, who is the uh, dining services manager here, uh, for help, thank him for helping us get out uh, all the food and drink that came today. Uh, Gil Jacobs up in the booth there, uh, and Freddie Pascalini, who's helping him uh, do all the technical stuff we needed to get done here in the auditorium. Uh, a special thanks to Gretchen Stallrecht, who uh, just goes above and beyond every year uh, helping us out with, with this festival. Um, I thought she was here since day one helping, but apparently not. <laughs> but she goes way back, so uh, it's good enough. She took a year off. Okay. All right. I also want to thank uh, our digital media TA, Adam Oswald. Where's Adam? Adam, thank you for all your help. Uh, Adam was the one that uh, was instrumental in getting all of these uh, film entries uh, downloaded from Film Freeway and then re uploaded back to YouTube. Uh, so I thank Adam for that. I also want to thank uh, members of the Digital Filmmakers Club, that's our sort of video club at the college. And we have the president here, Brad Barr. And uh, I want to thank the others that were here. Colin, is Colin still here? Okay, well thanks Colin. Uh, Ryan Marino, still here? All right, well, he was here. <laughs> uh, Adam Becker? Okay, so only Brad is here. He's the, uh, the president, so he has to, you know, Give us his, the full measure of his uh, dedication and devotion here. Okay, I also want to thank uh, Zach Rohde. Uh, he is our video guy, but beyond that, I say our video guy, he's the, the video producer for the college. He does all the, the commercials for the college, uh, all the in-house video production, and uh, it's a really big job for one person, <laughs> but he does a great job with that. And I also want to thank him for um, helping uh, with the digital media program and helping our students and being uh, sort of a mentor to them uh, as well as giving them many opportunities to, uh, to learn the craft of uh, filmmaking and video editing and, and shooting. Uh, also, I want to thank Joel Shuck. Uh, he's the guy back there on the camera. He's been uh, courageously filming nonstop pretty much all day this entire event. Joel was the former president of our uh, Filmmakers Club, and uh, so he's a graduate of the Digital Media Program, and uh, he came back today 100% volunteering his time, and I thank you, Joel, for that. So can we get a hand uh, for all those people? Okay, uh, I also want to thank our special guests, uh, Lynn Lowry and W. O'Shawn. Uh, Definitely one of the big highlights uh, of the festival. I also want to thank Ken Rowe, uh, who actually was instrumental in bringing both of those uh, people here. Uh, I want to thank uh, our workshop providers today, Bob Bozak, who's right here. Uh, Maria Friend, who had to leave, but she did the, uh, the special effects makeup workshop today. I need to thank Debbie again uh, for doing uh, her own workshop, which was the horror acting workshop. And the last workshop wasn't actually a workshop, it was a Zoom. Um, and we uh, connected with a guy named Matt Fleckenstein, who um, he's a producer, writer producer of uh, both animated and live action programming, for mainly for television. Um, if you've ever seen the, uh, the series iCarly, he was uh, involved in that and, and a lot of other ones as well. 
But anyways, uh, so that's one reason uh, we touch bases with him. Another reason uh, is that he's a local guy. He uh, was born and raised in Grand Island. Uh, he ended up moving to LA, but he is coming back here um, with a big project that uh, he assured us today uh, it will be happening very soon, uh, and that is uh, Buffalo Studios. Um, so keep your eye out on that. That looks to be a, a major uh, development in the filmmaking community in Buffalo and Western New York. Uh, and let's see, who else do we got? Oh, all right, so before we get to the actual uh, awards part uh, of this ceremony, uh, each year we honor uh, a Western New York filmmaker uh, who's uh, accomplished much in their time. Uh, they're not always uh, fully established. Uh, uh, a few years back we uh, honored a high school student, who Hope uh, Muldar, who uh, produced, <laughs> directed, wrote uh, a feature-length film when she was a high school senior. Uh, so we uh, honor her, but this year we're going to honor uh, a filmmaker who's uh, worked with many of you here, uh, including Debbie, I believe, right, and Ann Lynn? Okay. Uh, but he, he's a young guy, too, uh, but he's accomplished quite a bit. Uh, we originally had him slated to uh, receive this award in 2020, but we all know what happened in 2020, nothing. So uh, we were hoping to postpone it to the following year, 2021, but that didn't happen either. We were able to go virtual with the festival, um, but I, I didn't think um, it was fair to him to give him a virtual award. So without you know, being uh, actually having the opportunity to be here in person. So uh, we postponed it again another year, and this year everything uh, gladly worked out and he is here. And to uh, introduce our winner this year, uh, I'm gonna bring up Craig Lamberson. Uh, and Greg will uh, do the introductions and then we'll present the award. And our award winner is Sam Qualiana. Uh, thank you, Bob, for inviting me to present this year's Western New York Filmmaker of the Year Award to Sam. Um, congratulations on 25 years of festival programming. Big achievement. <clears throat> and thank you also for uh, mentioning Michael O'Hare. Weeping at this award ceremony was not on today's uh, bingo card. But uh, I hope that Michael's work lives on for a long time because that means all of our films live on for a long time. He was a big part of our crew. <clears throat> this isn't the first award I've given to Sam Qualiana, but it's been a while, hasn't it, Sam? You've been resting on your laurels. These young guys, they all find out it's not so easy once they have kids. <laughs> We're all excited when a big movie comes to town with big movie stars, or when a small movie comes to town, a small TV movie with soap opera stars. It's only natural, because stars are sexy, and big movies bring jobs to the community. And you, can't grow an in you cannot grow an industry uh, without jobs. Big films like The Adventures of Wolf Boy and The First Purge bring a lot of jobs to our community, but they're not part of our local culture. Locally creative films are our culture. Films like Snow Shark, Ancient Snow Beast, yeah. and The Legend of Six Fingers. Yeah. <laughs> films written and directed by Sam Qualiana, by Hope Mule Bauer, by Ken Cosentino. 13 years ago, before Hollywood discovered Western New York and Lloyd Kaufman was the only out-of-town filmmaker to see that we had something to offer, Sam was making short films in his backyard. He made over 200 of them with the help of his family. Sam did not go to film school. He self-taught. He honed his skill making those short films, 
parlayed those skills into making his own features and used what he learned on his features to work on larger productions. He uh, is a perfect example of somebody who can realize his dreams through hard work and dedication. After we finished shooting his first feature, Snow Shark, I became friends with Sam's grandmother, Diane. It was an unusual and short-lived friendship because she passed away not much later. But I loved to listen to that woman speak. Her husband had been a metal worker with an artistic streak, so she had a real admiration for artists. And she was excited by Sam's passion to become a filmmaker, and she was really happy that he quit his job at a local factory to start making movies. But uh, she understood the economic challenge of succeeding in this field, especially at that time over 12 years ago in Royalton. And uh, I know she would be proud of him today. So Sam, uh, <laughs> Sam's made his own movies. He's worked on many, many films that have come from out of town. So from out in Lockport, he's become one of the most known people in the uh, filmmaking community. And I'm speaking as much about the professional community as in the do-it-yourself community. Uh, so he's known for uh, not losing his temper, generally having a wry sense of humor when uh, problems are presented to him, and always answering the telephone when I get lost on my way to location. <laughs> so congratulations, Sammy. Come get your award. <laughs> Ten years ago, you were a wonderkin, and now you're basically getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> uh, so, that was me, my friend. There you go. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. This means a lot. I'm, uh, I'm not a man of many words, but I'll try to at least say that uh, the film industry is not exactly a, a, always a rewarding thing, so when you get recognition like this, it's really nice. But um, thank you, everybody, and thanks for being a part of all my movies. A lot of you that are here have been involved with. So uh, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> you guys are great. Okay, as uh, Greg was uh, up here talking, and thank you, Greg, for doing that introduction, uh, I realized that I forgot to thank him and also Chris Cosgrave for their participation in the Filmmakers Forum earlier today, along with Lynn and Debbie. Uh, thank you all very much for <laughs> participating in that. Okay, so I guess without further ado, we are going to uh, get into our awards. Uh, Gil? All right, so the first award is uh, in the category of animation. I should mention that um, the category that we receive the most entries in uh, almost every year is, is the animation category. And um, the, the quality of the work 
uh, that people are producing out there uh, around the world is just quite amazing, really. It's uh, beautiful and remarkable in many ways. Okay, our next category is uh, comedy. This is the first English language film I've ever seen with English subtitles. <laughs> All right, our next category is documentary, and uh, this was a particularly good one. It's actually uh, animation as well as a documentary. film is uh, our award winner in the drama category and um, this was I think one of my favorites uh, in the competition this year and uh, I'm glad to see the, the judges felt the same way. because I could relate to it personally. I mean, <laughs> talked through two years of uh, COVID and looking at blank screen most of the time. 
All right, uh, the next one is uh, experimental, and let's take a look at that. Okay, the next one is uh, in the horror category. Final uh, category is music video. award for the day is our 716 People's Choice Award. Um, I, we didn't know who the winner would be until almost 3.30 today because votes uh, came in until about 3 o'clock. That was the deadline. Uh, and then we had to tally all the votes. Um, but we received almost 300 votes total uh, for these films, six films. Um, but the winning film received uh, 45 votes, and um, I should mention to the winner, uh, we have a nice trophy plus a $100 uh, prize for you. Um, the trophy doesn't have your name on it yet because we didn't know who, who you'd be. Um, however, uh, when you get this, 
um, we will uh, provide the plaque for the award. So don't. Okay, let's take a look at, this is the 716 People's Choice Award voted on by uh, friends, family, and attendees at today's festival. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's one more here. College for that award. This, is, this is the second appearance of Mr. Sisyphus. to say we didn't get any high school student films this year. I'm not sure why, except maybe, you know, the COVID interruption <laughs> had something to do with that. But uh, our last, we have one more award here. This is the one I mentioned earlier. It's the 716 People's Choice Award. Sure. Yeah, it's quite hefty. <laughs> this is really exciting. I've, uh, as you can tell from my accent, I'm not from here, but I do live here. I've been here you know, a bit now. Um, yeah, I discounted the possibility of winning this because I thought, oh, it's popular. People have friends. But uh, wow, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. All right, thanks everyone. Uh, again, appreciate your coming out today. I uh, hope you found it worthwhile, and I'll see you again next year.